and it's official, we launched our very first Canva app. It's called Rondi Tutorials and in this video, I'm going to show you how you can get it, what it does and give you three good reasons why you should start using it. Let's go. Hey, what's up everyone? My name is Ronnie. Welcome back to our channel. And if this is your first time, welcome. This is the right place for you to learn about Canva, to learn about ChatGPT, to learn about DALL-E and other AI tools. Today, we have some great news. We just launched our Canva app called Rondi Tutorial. And in this video, I'm going to break it down for you, show you how to use it, show you why you should use it. And it's going to be a lot of fun. It's a big premiere for us. We never launched a Canva app before. So before we jump into the demo, let me tell you how this idea came to life, like why we decided to create this Canva app. It all started in London. We were invited at a Canva event and there we met a guy from Australia called Tom, right? And Tom is a developer. He had previously developed a Canva app. He's kind of like one of the OG Canva developer. Tom's app is called Create eCards and it's a cool little app that allows you to turn your Canva design into digital invites or eCards. So we met Tom at the Canva event in London and we immediately connected. He told us about Create eCard and how he was working on developing some new features and then came the idea like he kind of suggested why don't you create a Canva app? Because that was the time where Canva just opened this app marketplace and opened their developer program. So he had the technical knowledge on how to actually do it. I have no idea. And we had the content. We had all of these tutorials. So from there came the idea of creating an app that would showcase all of our tutorial from inside the Canva editor. So that's how it came to life. Then came the long process process. We worked about three, four months on this project together with Tom of developing the mockups, like how the app would look like and all the different visuals that the app would actually use from the message you see when you first come into contact with the app to the app icon and even the messages you receive within the app when you type specific queries. So that's how it all came to life. And Diana and I are super thankful from all the help and guidance we received from Tom. We wouldn't have made it without him. So Tom, if you're watching this, thank you, mate. All right. So that being said, let's go find this app and let me show you how it works. So I am here in the Canva editor and in order to find the app, we are going to start from the apps button right here in the object panel. So click on that and then simply search for Rondi tutorials. If you type Rondi, you should see Rondi tutorials showing up right here. So this is the app. Okay, so Rondi tutorial looks like this little play button. So here it is, Rondi tutorials created by Team Rondi. Watch Canva tutorials while designing. Okay, so in order to start using the app, just click on open. There is no login requested. There is nothing. You don't need to sign up to anything. So the first thing you will see is simply five videos right here or five thumbnails of our five latest Canva tutorial that we published on our YouTube channel. So it's very straightforward. Let's try with a question. For example, how to create a newsletter. Okay, how to create a newsletter. So what's going to happen in the background is that the app is going to start creating connections to render the best videos that we have that talk about creating creating newsletter. So here are the results, how to create newsletters in Canva. That's the one using issue, how to create interactive PDFs, publish and sell digital content, create a website that collects emails, clickable email signature, make your own newsletter, etc., etc. All right. So the first thing that the app does is that it gives us the most relevant tutorials related to your search. Now, the beauty of this is that if you want to watch one of these tutorials, you can simply click on it and it will be loaded into your page right here. And when I hover over this video, I see double click to interact. So I can double click on the video and now you see my cursor change into this little finger and I can click on the play button right here to start I want playing you to about the, last the video. You not only open but actually read a newsletter 
Okay, I'm going to pause the video right here. So this is, in a nutshell, what our Rondi tutorial app does. Now, let me give you three good reasons why you should use this app. The first reason why I believe you should use this app is that it allows you to learn right where you are designing. Now, this could present different advantages. Let me show you one specific use case. All right. So, for example, let's imagine you are trying to crop an image into a specific shape. All right. So you don't really know exactly how to do that. You wonder, you've seen people putting their images into frames, into round frames, into all sorts of different shapes shapes of frames, but you don't know how to do it. So you come here to the Rondi tutorial app and you can start by a search about cropping an image. Cropping an image, cropping takes two Ps, I believe. Okay, so you run the search and all of a sudden you get a few different results. Okay, so cropping a photo, latest AI tools for photo editing, crop images into shape. Oh, it seems like this might be the right tutorial for me. So I'm going to click on it. And what I can do is to simply reduce the size of this tutorial right here. I'm going to interact with the video by double clicking. Oh my God. I'm so this is the video. And now, let me simple pause the video, I can start working in that same document while watching the tutorial. So I'm going to let Diana be my guide here on how to do that. And I'm going to do it at the same time. So let me first play the video at the right location. So I had this idea. I remember there is a part of this tutorial where she talks about crayon frames. So let's start by hearing that part of the video. And let me show you how I will be basically following along the tutorial while listening to the video. Okay, so resuming the video. Find these cute frames in Canva. Okay, crayon frames. We're gonna go to the frames section and then we're gonna type crayon. Hit enter. Look at this cute collection of frames. I was really, really happy when I found them in Canva. I think these are actually okay. Pretty Here are my crayon unique. frames. And they have this playful style to them. So let me bring one of these frames okay. so you can take a look. And also, let me show you a different. All right. So I could easily follow along and recreate work in the Canva editor. All I need to do now simply to bring a photo to this frame and I can do so very easily like so. So there you go. This is for me the biggest advantage of using the Rondi tutorial app and watching our content not only on YouTube or having YouTube in a separate window or split your screen and have to work with Canva on only half a screen. No, you can have your Canva tutorial straight in the editor and follow along on the same page. Just continue designing while learning. So that is for me the main benefit of the app. Now, let me show you two more. The second benefit of using the app is that you will always get our latest tutorials. So indeed, when you use the Rondi tutorial app, when you click on it, when you click on its icon, you will be presented with our five latest tutorials, the five latest tutorials we have uploaded to YouTube. So this is probably the easiest way to keep up with all the content Diana and I produce. Indeed, we publish two videos every week and on YouTube, if the app algorithm doesn't show you our latest video or if you haven't subscribed to our channel or maybe you haven't hit the bell to receive notifications, you might miss a tutorial or two. But here you just click on the Rondi tutorial icon right here in your apps and you should see our five most recent videos. So in my opinion, this is a good way to just keep up with what we do. And last but not least, the third good reason why I believe you should try and use the app is that you can create and share customizable learning paths. So the way you would do that is that you would create a Canva website or a Canva presentation or any kind of Canva document really. But once you have it, let's say I'm going to use this template right here. So I'm going to open the template. So this is what the template looks like. I have six pages right here. So what I can do is to use this page number three right here. I'm going to call this design principles. So here I know 
that I can search for videos, for tutorials. So I'm going to type in design principles and I should find the five videos I created about the design principles. So here they are. I have contrast, visual balance, white space, alignment and hierarchy. So now that I found my five videos in the Rondi tutorial app, what I could do is to adapt the structure of this template, this website, to fit my tutorials. Okay, I'm going to paste my five tutorials in this document. So I should probably duplicate this page right here. I have two of these pages. Those look quite nice. So I am going to copy them. Control C, Control V and copy the first one one more time. Time. So now I have five of these pages. I could probably delete the rest of the website or you can keep it. You can make it look nice. You can add text around the videos. You can pretty much do whatever you want. And I believe I can also skip this page right here. So the way you would work is to simply get on one of these pages, delete the frame and add the first episode. So episode one would be this one right here. What you can do, you can resize the video, position it nicely right here in the middle of the page and you could add some text here. I could put my text. For example, this one is all about hierarchy and I could have a small description of what's in this video. All right. So once I have that, I could move on to page number two right here. Do the same thing. Add episode number two, which is about alignment right here. Same thing. I'm going to scale it, position it nicely in the middle of my page and change the title for alignment. There you go. So you can delete this button right here. And there you go. I have my page number two. So you could continue like so creating all of the pages and then publish your website. Now, let me show you what the website would look like once it's completed and published. So there you go. Here is my published website, the design principles by Team Rondi. And I can see here the first episode hierarchy. If I click on it, I want to help you guys become better. I'm going to be playing the first video. If I scroll down, I can start playing you guys to become better. The second video. So let's continue our series. You see? And then the third one. Let's continue to learn about fourth and fifth one. So this is a great way in my opinion, to create customizable playlist, customizable learning path that you can share with the rest of your team, that you can keep for yourself to always know where your Canva tutorials are, because this will be saved in your Canva homepage, just as a normal Canva document. So this could be a great help for those of you who enjoy our content and just want to keep track of it. All right, I'm going to leave it here. I would be super grateful if you could leave me a comment and tell me what other features you would love to see in the Rondi tutorial app. This is V1 of the app. We are planning with Tom to make it better, to improve over time, but we wanted to launch it, to put it in your hands so that you can start playing around with it and listen to your feedback. Your feedback is very valuable to us to make this app even better. So let us know what would you like to see coming to the app next. And that's all I wanted to show you guys today. Go get the app, play around with it, and let us know what you think of it.